wounded that day, including Elijah Mueller, who was shot in the face and suffered significant injuries. A bullet grazed two of his fingers before going into his mouth, where it shattered four teeth and went out through his cheek. Sarah Rogerson joins us now. She is Elijah's aunt. Uh, thank you for being here. I know this was yet another difficult week in this uh, horrific journey that you all are now faced to live day in, day out. How is Elijah doing right now? Well, he's doing as best as can be expected. He deals with a lot of survivor guilt. Um, you know, four children lost their lives that day, and he lives every day knowing that it could have been five, six, seven, including him. So he um, he's really thankful um, and working through a lot of anxiety and PTSD, but um, all things considered, he's doing pretty well and looking forward to pretty normal things like going to prom. So he's back at school. How long did it take, Sarah, for him to return to some of those teenage activities? Yeah, I mean, it's it's an ongoing process. Like there are still moments when he has difficulty because he is back in, in the same school where uh, he was shot. And it's remarkable that he's able to do that. Um, there are good days and bad days. Yeah, as expected. I know yesterday was was hard for all of us to listen to those families' impact statements, more so for you all who are directly impacted. How did that land with you, hearing not only from the families, but also from James and Jennifer Crumbly, who addressed the families in the court? It was a, it was a big and emotional day. What was really frustrating was that this was an opportunity for the parents to express something deeper than regret, and that would have been remorse. Um, unfortunately, that they didn't seize on that opportunity. Um, and so I think what we're feeling right now is the limited relief that some accountability affords. Um, accountability is important, and we hope that this verdict and the sentence sends a message of deterrence and hopefully um, also incentivizes an all of community approach that goes beyond the criminal justice system in order to prevent future shootings from happening. Because addressing it after the fact is really a lot of cold comfort in a way. We're super thankful um, for the prosecutors who brought this novel case. Um, I think a lot of people are feeling a measure of um, justice, but there's so much more work to be done beyond uh, what happened yesterday. Each of the family members who spoke um, asked for the maximum sentence. It was 10 to 15 years uh, handed down by the judge. In your mind, is that an element of justice served? Uh, well, I paid a lot of attention to uh, the, the um, victim's families and what they were saying, including my own. Um, and I have to say, you know, there's really not nothing that the law can afford uh, that will really bring complete justice in these cases. Um, but this is a step in the right direction in terms of sending the message about safe storage, safe firearm storage and parental responsibility for um, gun owning families and non gun owning families alike. Uh, we all need to have conversations with each other in order to keep our kids safe. And that should be on the parents, not on the kids to keep them safe. Yeah. Uh, we also need to invest in social emotional learning and um, more threat assessment teams, multidisciplinary threat assessment teams to prevent these shootings from happening. My sister says all the time, we weren't the first and we're not going to be the last, but we can lift up our voices and, and those who are studying this problem to see how to fix it. So you've got the parental responsibility component of this, and then you have the school component. And Tate Mears' dad spoke yesterday out of frustration that we want an investigation. We want to know more about what the school knew, when they knew it, and what they did. Where does that lawsuit stand right now, Sarah, for, for your family and others? Well, it's a civil lawsuit, so they take a lot more time. Um, and. Uh, a lot of people are frustrated, um, including our family. My sister is proctoring the PSAT right now in one of those school buildings. Um, my whole family continues to live in this district and, and attend these schools every day, as do many other families who were directly and indirectly impacted. And there aren't uh, as many answers coming out of the district as people would like there to be in order to feel safe going back every day. And not to mention um, a missed opportunity for the whole country to see uh, how we might really be more proactive in preventing 
these types of incidents and community gun violence more broadly. Yeah, so many uh, seem concerned with a lawsuit, but transparency uh, more important now than ever. Uh, Sarah, please give our best to your sister, her family, and to Elijah. Thank you for your time. Thank you. A former Virginia 